Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my grocery haul for the second week of February in 2020. This video is a day late because I wasn't feeling well. Um, my husband wants to show you these ice cream sandwiches before they melt. We're going to stick them in the freezer. But this is going to be my kids' um, dessert for this week. These are $1.99 at Aldi. So everything you see here is from Aldi. I spent $97. Um, just a little information. We are a family of four. Our daughters are eight and five. And we spend $400 a month on groceries. So today I spent $97. If you want to see my meal plan, that's going to be in the description box. As well as um, recipe links to any recipes I'm making this week. This week is going to be super simple because I'm going to be working nights this week. So my husband is going to be making dinner. He's a good cook, but he just knows a lot of simple recipes. So I try to make it easy for him where I can prep it before I go to work and he can finish it off. So let's start over here. I'll go over all the prices and what it's used for. Um, and again, my recipes are in the description box with my meal plan. So we got almond milk. We like getting this because it lasts so much longer than the regular milk. My kids use this for um, cereal or for chocolate milk. Um, normally we get the regular unsweetened, but this time we got the vanilla unsweetened to see if the kids like that. This was $1.99. My husband picked out some orange juice. Um, him and the kids drink this occasionally. This is our favorite kind. It's $2.99. There is another um, option in a carton just like the almond milk and it's $2.29 if you want something a little cheaper, but they like this one better. I got some half and half for my coffee. That was $2.09. And my husband picked out this cinnamon roll creamer for his coffee. This was $2.29. And we picked out a bottle of wine to have this week once the kids go to bed one night. Um, and this was on sale for $1.99, so we had to buy it. It was on sale. We picked up some eggs for breakfast. These eggs were $1.29. We still have some left over from last week, so we only needed one. My husband was with me, and he picked out some bananas. They're actually a great sale this week if you like bananas. They're $0.25 cents a pound. Um, he's the only one in the house that likes them, so he picked out three. Then we got some blueberries. My kids love when the blueberries are big like this. Like they're so massive. They like them um, just for dessert or for snack or breakfast. Any time of day they'll want these blueberries. And sometimes they get up, up over $4, but today they were $2.59, which I thought was a pretty good deal. We got some romaine lettuce. This is our favorite lettuce for salads. This was $2.45. Then for our fruit option for the kids' lunchbox, I picked up these cuties. It's three pounds and it was $2.99. We haven't had these for a few weeks. I like changing up the fruit um, for the kids so that they don't get bored. And then we do have a rollover meal this week. Um, a really good friend of mine um, was in the ICU and unfortunately she didn't make it, but that night I was going to be making taco soup and obviously I was not home to do that, so the kids just had mac and cheese, and um, yeah, we have a rollover meal of taco soup, so we're going to have that tonight. Um, yeah, so that was a very unfortunate day, another reason my video is up late, um, but we just got to keep going on, and we'll be making taco soup this week, so you'll see that again in my meal plan. It was on my meal plan last week, but we didn't get to make it. So this cilantro was $0.35. Cents. Green onions, I'm going to be making some ranch dressing and I like fresh green onions in it. This was 50 cents. The cucumber was 39 cents for salads. Then I got these mini bell peppers for a dinner one night. It was $2.49. The kids also like snacking on these in their lunchbox. I picked up two avocados. These are not ripe at all, but I still have two left from last week, so these will last a while. They were 49 cents. And then my husband said he has never had a mango before. So I don't know if that's true. I feel like with me as his wife, he probably would have tried it. But um, I don't know. He says he's never had it. So it's 39 cents. And I think I'll cut this up and we'll have it for dessert. I'll just have a couple pieces because I do try to stick to a keto, low-carb diet. But the rest of my family does not. So um, they'll definitely enjoy that for dessert. Then I got some green apples. I've got red apples the past few weeks. These are Granny Smith apples. It was three pounds for $1.99, which was a really good price. And then some fresh broccoli. Um, normally I buy the frozen broccoli. It's only 99 cents. 
But this week I wanted the fresh broccoli. I'm going to be making a chicken broccoli alfredo casserole. Basically chicken broccoli alfredo sauce cooked in a casserole dish. I'm going to prep that for my husband where he can just throw it in the oven and have it for dinner. They're going to have some garlic bread along the side of that and it's good for everybody. So I think this broccoli will hold up better than the frozen broccoli so that's why I got this one. This was $1.49 and it is 16 ounces. All right, and then lastly for our produce, strawberries. I went to Walmart last week and they had, um, not that they weren't good, I did grocery pickups, so I don't know how they looked, but they were like over $3 for strawberries. So these were $1.19, it was a limit of two, so I picked up two and we love strawberries. Then for some breakfast options, my daughter wanted some sausage links where you just warm them up in the morning. I got two packages, they're 95 cents each. And then my husband wanted these sausage patties. I know I talk about them whenever I go to Aldi, but they're really good. It's $4.99. It comes with 18 sausage patties. They're really good. You only need one. They're just really delicious. They remind me of the ones from McDonald's, from the um, like sausage biscuit or something. They're really good. Highly recommend those. Now we'll move on to some lunch items. I got these Danimal smoothies for the kids' lunch boxes. So cute, they were $1.99, it comes with six. They're cheaper to get the um, seasonal one than the regular pack that they have. The regular pack was like a dollar more. So they are Cupid's Cherry, and I thought the kids would like these for lunch this week at school since it's coming up on Valentine's Day. Got some sour cream for $1.50 to make some ranch dressing. Some butter in case the kids want toast in the morning, they like that butter on their toast. It was $2.49. And then here's the bread in case they want toast or if they want um, a sandwich or something. And if it's not getting used, I'll just throw it in the freezer. This was $1.39. Um, more lunch options. My husband and I loved this. Oh my gosh. I got this the last time I got went to Aldi two weeks ago. This smoked white cheddar. So good. We're going to put these on turkey burgers. That's the ground turkey for the turkey burgers. Um, for one of our meals this week, and we're going to use this smoked white cheddar. Otherwise, we'll use this for lunches. Um, this was two, no, yeah, this was two sixty nine, worth every penny. And I got it with this turkey breast. This was two ninety nine. So this is going to be a really good lunch option for my husband and I. And then this is something I've never purchased before. They had a few different flavors. This is the ranch hummus. It has three net carbs for two tablespoons. I thought it'd be good with some veggies. I have some carrots and celery in the fridge I need to finish eating. So I thought we might have that as a side with our turkey burgers. Just some veggies with ranch hummus. And I'll let you know how this is. I believe it was like $2.50. I like trying new things, so we'll see how that tastes. I got some pickles. These are baby dills. They're so good just for a snack and they were only $1.19 and I'm going to use the pickle juice from here with this chicken to make a Chick-fil-A chicken strip recipe. I'll have it linked below. So the trick is to marinate the chicken in this pickle juice and it really gives it that tender um, Chick-fil-A quality and yeah, so we're gonna have that for dinner one night and I thought the kids would love it with some waffle fries. We'll just throw some of them into the air fryer and then they could have more um, over the weekend for lunch or something. Um, but these waffle fries were only $1.49 and I thought that would go perfect with our little mock Chick-fil-A dinner. I wanted to make a lot of warm dinners because it is cold, it is California winter and we are babies and we can't handle the cold. I think today the high is 66 but it's supposed to be the low 60s all week so let me know where you're from is it cold where you're at if it's the low 60s are you cold because i am frozen so we're making warm dinners all week long to keep us nice and warm um, another time this week we're going to be making a smoked sausage skillet i just cut this up and i saute it with green beans i have from the freezer and these mini bell peppers and it makes a really good dinner. I'm gonna make some rice along the side for the kids. This was $1.99. The rice was $1.79. Um, since I eat keto low carb, I like making rice on the side for sometimes my family wants a little heartier meal. The ground turkey was $2.29 a pound. I got two just so that we would have leftovers for lunch. And then this chicken breast is going to be half for the Chick-fil-A and then half for the chicken Alfredo 
bake. And this was $9.22. Um, the last few things are some snacky things. Oh, this is for the taco soup. I wasn't sure if the beef broth I got was enough, so I got one more. It was $1.19. And then these are the snacky things I always have at the end of my hauls. My husband picked out these double filled cookies. If you haven't had them, they are just like Oreos, if not better. They're $1.55, they're double stuffed. The kids like these too, but my husband is a big fan. So he picked these out. Um, we got these for the kids. Normally they only have Lunchables on like special occasions, but I have not seen pizza Lunchables. I tried to get one for my daughter for her field trip and they didn't have any at Walmart. They never have the pizza one at Aldi. They only have like the nachos one for some reason, but they had them hit there this week. They were $1.99, so I thought I could um, send this to lunch with them on Valentine's Day as a special lunch. These were $1.99 each. And in that lunch also, I'm gonna send this. They are the Valentine Ding Dongs. How much were the Ding Dongs, honey? They were like $2.29 for these, and I thought the kids would like this in their lunchbox this week for Valentine's Day. Um, they both have Valentine's too, so maybe they'll bring one to school for their Valentine. My husband wanted some barbecue sauce. I love that G. Hughes barbecue sauce I got last week. Oh my gosh, sweet and spicy. It was so good, but it was too spicy for my husband. He likes the regular Sweet Baby Ray's. It was $2.29, so I picked that up for him. The kids like croutons in their Caesar salad. A subscriber actually told me a good recipe for croutons. I haven't tried it yet. I really need to because they love croutons in their salad. These were 79 cents each. Then the kids wanted chicken nuggets. Um, the night that we have this meal, I don't think they're gonna like it, so I think we're gonna give them chicken nuggets instead. These are $2.99. My kids love these chicken nuggets. They are chicken nugget snobs, and this is one of their favorites. And then here is the Texas toast to have alongside the chicken Alfredo bake so the kids have a little more oomph to their meal. That was $1.79. And the very last thing before I fall over is <laughs> these chips um, for a weekend snack. These are $1.29. So that is everything that I got at Aldi this week. I spent $97. I did not even keep track in the store. I had a list, but I just picked everything out that I knew I needed. I didn't get anything off of my list except for that ranch hummus. That's the only thing I got off my list um, that wasn't on my list. So I did really good. I did not keep track with the calculator. Usually I do. And I still spent $97 and my goal was 100 So I'm so proud of myself. If you want to see my running total, I'll have it down below in the description box. Again, you can find my meal plan there. And let me know where you're from. I have people watching. I think someone from Australia was watching. Someone from United Kingdom was watching last week, leaving comments. And it was so fun to see where you guys are from um, watching these videos. Also, next week I'm going to Grocery Outlet. If you're excited, you guys voted for me to go to Grocery Outlet. I'm excited to see what I can get for $100 at Grocery Outlet and what I can find. It has been forever since I've been in there. So make sure you're subscribed and you are um, hitting that notification bell so you'll get notified on Thursday morning when my video uploads and you guys can see everything I get at Grocery Outlet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you next week with another grocery haul. Bye.